I was watching one of the Marvel films. There was a scene where Ant-Man grew in size and all of a sudden, I wonder why giants are always moving slowly in modern movies. And the answer was in fruit number. According to the 1976 academic journal Nature, Alexander estimated the speeds of dinosaurs using the fruit number. It is expressed as velocity squared over gravitational acceleration times length. Alexander thought that speed, stride length, and body size will have a relational expression that satisfies the similarity. Based on his investigation using various animals, he plotted the points on the graph showing fruit number against lambda over h, which is the ratio of stride length to the like length. So here is the graph. He obtained an expression that can calculate the estimated speeds from stride and leg length. Alexander calculated the speeds of the dinosaur using the records of the museum, and the speed was similar to humans. The same will be true of the giants. To suggest the reason, a book named Two New Sciences by Galileo presents a concept of a square cube law. This means that if you double the length of a cube, its surface area will increase by 2 squared and its volume will increase by 2 cubed. Let's say that the ant man was 10 times taller than his original height. From a physical point of view, walking requires rotation of the leg around the pelvis and movement of glutes and calf muscles. So muscular strength is proportional to the cross-sectional area of the muscle, therefore muscular strength will be 100 times stronger using the square cube law. However, the weights of the legs will be 1000 times heavier, making the muscles difficult to rotate the legs quickly. As the giants have the same speed as humans, yet larger stride length, it'll look like the giants are moving slowly in a perspective.